Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the second video in the Fast API tutorial. And in this video, we will learn how to install Fast API and create a demo app. So let's get right into it. To start with, I have created a folder here where I will be creating all the files required for the application. Next, we have to create a virtual environment using any of the uh, virtual environment application that you prefer. I actually prefer virtual env so i'm creating a new virtual environment called venv so you can see the virtual environment be created here it's installing all the necessary packages like pip next we will activate the virtual environment so it says source venv bin activate now we can see that the virtual environment is activated so next i will install fast api using pip so it's pip3 install fast api or enter it will install all the necessary uh, packages along with fast api layer it off next we will create the main um, application file so we'll call it main dot this is where we will be writing all the code uh, for the application so first we have to import the fast api class we will say from fast api module import the fast api class okay now we have to create an instance of this class so we will name that instance as app and this will be the fast api now app is the instance of this fast api class now let's write the first endpoint and in the first endpoint we will return a message in json format saying hello world okay so we'll say at the rate app dot get so this basically means app is this app name get is the method that we are going to use so here it can be get post or the other http methods so here it will be app.get and we have to mention the URL endpoint. So this is going to be the root one. So it's say just a slash. So this basically means that in our case, it was going to be HTTPS and we'll say 127.0.0.1 and uh, in this case, 8000 is our port and just a slash. This will be the URL. If we mention here something like hello then our entire endpoint will be hello okay so what we are mentioning here will get appended to our base uh, url or the base domain here right so i'll just remove this and we'll change it to our root uh, endpoint so we'll say app.get now we have to write our function so i'll say home and I'll simply say return a dictionary which says message of hello world. Right? So, what it will do is it will just return a message saying hello world. Okay, in this format. So, here it is in the dictionary format. When a client gets it, it will be in JSON format. Right? Now we have to run this application. To run this application, we will use something called Ubicon. Ubicon is an ASGI. Now, ASGI stands for Asynchronous Server Gateway Interface, and that's the server gateway interface Fast API uses. Now, other frameworks like Django and Flask uses something called Web Server Gateway Interface or WSGI. If you want to know more uh, about the differences, I have uh, another video on that. You can check that out. I'll put the link in the description. So here in this case, we are using Ubicon, which is, which is an ASGI. So it's a Ubicon and then main. Main is the name of the file that we are using here. So main and we have to mention the name of the application. So this will be app. We'll say main app and then we'll mention hyphen hyphen reload. Why? Because reload will basically check whenever there is any um, changes in our application code, it will automatically reload the server so let's run this 
it has completed the startup and we can get this endpoint here so i'll now open a browser and let's go to the endpoint so say enter we have this message right message hello world so basically the application is returning this json response and this is how basically at a very basic level an api would work right now fast api also provides default documentation in this particular url so flash doc will give you a swagger documentation so here you can see a list of all the endpoints that you have created in your application now i have a get endpoint with uh slash right in in home so i have this now i can try this particular uh endpoint here i can execute it and i'll get the response here say message hello world so i can you know have a very detailed documentation of all the endpoints so i can come here and check what is the response uh, later on we'll see how to pass data to the uh, function and everything uh, but you can basically do all of those uh, activities in this doc so that is it for today i hope you have understood how to install fast api and how to create the first endpoint in the next video we will install mongodb and set up mongo engine uh, so that this application can interact with the mongodb database and provide responses to the client stay tuned for the next video thank you